This is the story of a man named Stanley. Yes! We love Stanley! Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Oh my god, this is employee like number, number two. Employee 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. <gasps> this is like a sequel! Oh my god! Yes. I'm so excited! What buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month. Did he's saying it in past tense. That means that, that this has to be a sequel. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came. Right? As though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Stanley was happy until one, and day. one day. Something very peculiar. Yeah! Oh my something god, I'm so excited. Something I'm so he would excited. never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a <gasps> meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. Everyone's this gone! Isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk he and stepped out of his office. Sentience and free will. Let's go. Very old game. I played it when I was a baby. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? But what, can, what else can I do? Meeting. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Here, let's go to... I got an achievement, you can't jump. Set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. What a beautiful Thank room. Goodness Stanley had taken this detour. Can I get a soda pop? Room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. I want to jump off this Stanley thing. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I'm going to jump off this thing. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone All right, else... Alright, hopefully I can make it. I don't want to die. The is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Maybe There's I should go off this way. Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Ah! Really? <laughs> I'm in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. No! Ow. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Ow. Give me a chance. No! I have trust issues. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. No! Fuck your red door. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. No. I, walked I still don't think we're communicating properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. Red door. Right, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You yeah. Want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, yeah. don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. Nothing. Having finished building this section of the map, because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Yep. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Skill Tell trees would be nice. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Okay. 
There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. A third option? Whoa, I'm indecisive. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Yeah! Feel free to be honest, I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. I give it a four. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly, there's something here that speaks to you. I like if choices. I'm honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rolling. More doors! Yeah, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. In total, this many doors were open. This many steps were taken. That's so cool! Did you know that 21% of players skipped the intro sequence? Only the worst of three chose the blue door? How long did it take you to get to the correct door? You were objectively ranked 9328 out of 9328 players worldwide? What? Um, what about the middle door? I'm feeling middle door. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through Ama doors? It was Again, amazing. Honest answers, please. It was amazing. I hey, love. I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, <gasps> and now would be a lovely opportunity to play give it some testing. Play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? No, Perfect. I'd be so Let happy. Okay. What's up, you In down this did game, it? The baby crawls left towards danger. No. You click the button to move him back to the right. Okay. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. Okay. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. Mm. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Okay. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Got it. You oh, heartless he bastard. died. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because <laughs> if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. No! Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. New game pod. <gasps> ah, fascinating. I love what this game. This about Stanley. <gasps> it's really story? sad. I love this mm. game. We played this. It's Firewatch. You are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps Creep for some tower. sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love <gasps> I everything love this game. about this game, Stanley. Me too. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. <gasps> I love Firewatch. Yeah, we played this on stream not too long ago. No, 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 it can't be. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. What? No! Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing. That no! big open... Just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, oh. No! Heavens, we avoided it. Oh, there's We're a little crack the in the wall. Standing. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. No! Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. Let me out! <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. I yeah. think this will be just the thing. Okay. Not Rocket League! Oh, see, this is exactly <laughs> Not Rocket! No, I don't like this! Let me out! Let me out, you, me out, you monster! That you could get no. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Not Rocket League! In this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Let me out! Not Rocket League! Please! Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. Yeah. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports No! Ball. I oh, hate you, Rocket League! We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together? Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. <gasps> okay, it's kind of cool, but not Rocket League! I kicked the ball. Kick, kick. I'm in the ground, why? I'm gonna do it, Zoomies! Boop! It went in! Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? It kind of is, though. Then I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for yeah, a more, more balls experience. More I balls. Here comes another ball. <sighs> yes. Oh goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I sip. <laughs> Rocket League! Ah! Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How oh, will no. you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley. It's so dark. I'm lost. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> oh no. Hello? It's very dark. Kind of scared. <gasps> What happened? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. No! I'm I lost if forever! He's his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. That's not ominous. Special. You know? I thought it was going to be more on the new content. Oh, new content? <gasps> what does that mean? New content. I like new content. I love new content. New content. New content. Wow, I'm on a little track. They're like, we better cage this off. She's gonna jump Hello, off again. And thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Woo! As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, Ew! a reimagining of the game for consoles and computers. Stanley. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in The Stanley Parable. Yay, Ultra new Deluxe. content! Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Me too. Yeah, it's like a Disney ride. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Yeah! I'm trapped. It won't go. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, here oh. we go. 
All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. New I've content! Never been more ready, let's do it. Yay! I love new content! Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if them. Um... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. You got it! All the right. jump circle. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. I can't jump, though. <gasps> but I can only jump in the circle? What the hell? Oh, I'm out of jumps. Aw. Is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else. Not another right? elevator? No! Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. <laughs> it's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? <laughs> if this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Content! Hell, I could 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if. Oh, wait. Do more. some! More! Yeah. More! I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. Why? I'm ready for whatever it is. Thank you for enjoying the new content. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There's a chair. Me, I bet I can sit this in it. This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other He's than right. to make an easy dollar. And He's don't right. get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, test achievement, please <laughs> ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. We should. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. Yeah, choices. No, frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together. Yeah. What do you say, friend? Yes! New content! <gasps> the old office! <laughs> Psst! Stanley! Come hey. over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! Hold on! Where's this go? Oh, you don't want to see the cool I do, I do, I, I do. Fine. You're a oh, never mind. You're not a dork. <laughs> I'm not a dork. I'm coming. I'm coming. I just want to see what's over there. A fan. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be? Well, yeah. It got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. Yeah. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. What is this? Skyrim? Elden Ring? What is this? What the fuck? Is this Skyrim? I call it the memory zone. Memory it's zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. The memory zone. Like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. <gasps> you see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re release? Remember yeah. Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, Aww. video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Yeah. In loving memory of little Stanley. No! <laughs> and over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism, 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, 
We're so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. <laughs> Did you hear that, Stanley? Every, every game, game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. Yeah. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. Skyrim. It was Persona 3. Yeah. It was all of them. And now, <laughs> it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Aww. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It was! It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Oh, this makes me so sad. Ten secret ways Carrot plays. Narrators hate her. You won't believe number six. Literally, yes. These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh. Oh no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video no! game distributor. I haven't looked at these yeah, in years. The Steam I can't reviews. Even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh no. <laughs> Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and un no! with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! Unfunny! I'm trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Oh okay, no! Let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? <laughs> you can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. <laughs> I feel Preachy. like a failure. Like I let these people down. No. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. No! I love the game! What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's That's happening. true. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. A skip button! Imagine if that was your Steam review, though. That's what I was thinking. I was like, whoever left these bad Steam reviews and got chosen, like, damn, lucky duckies. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of mm. course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less...
Sorry, it's getting annoying. <laughs> well, there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? Yeah, but a bit. But that's the power of the button. The, the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips. Okay. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 30 45 to 45 minutes. minutes. It's not unendurable by any means. He gave me too much power. Well, so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know. Stanley, Stanley, ah! Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12, 12 hours. hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. Yeah, what do I do? I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no Maybe door. Maybe we got to wait for the building to oh, collapse. Stanley, you're back. You're back. <sighs> oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to. Again. Oh, no. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. A week? Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me? I oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. Hi. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? No. Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There okay. Oh, you guys got to change the battery in that smoke detector. Yeah. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, Enter the time traveler. What's up, Ziffer? How you doing? Hello? The end is never the end, 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 is never the end. So weird. The spooky kooky ooky dude. See, this is what we gotta wait for. A way out. Gonna cave in. I'm gonna be able to get out. Freedom will be mine. I wonder if it's gonna fast forward to today's date, the 20, 2022. That'd be funny. But cool. <gasps> New life has grown. The birds are chirping. Surely a tree will grow up and then we can climb out of here. Oh, damn it. I think the world ended. Damn. That stinks. Um. Uh -huh. Thank God this button still works somehow. In space or some shit. Ah, there we go. And the button's broken. Hello. <coughs> Hello. It's been so long. Content. New, new content. Ooh. Oh, good. You notice my sign. 
Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Yay! New content! New, new content! You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable mm -hmm. and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. Yeah. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. I so agree. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. Mm -hmm. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> Yay! Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Yeah! Thinking all the new territory will cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built Woo! from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking yeah! for. Yeah! Yes! Number two. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra yeah. Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2... Old and busted. An artistic statement. New right hotness. There. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation. Progress! And the color red! Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. But oh. let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Okay. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Yeah. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Right. Right. Okay, new features. Wow! Red carpet and everything! Wowzer! Wow, you've been busy! Try out some of the new features. Alright, what do we got? Office decorations? Reassurance bucket? The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game? Wait. For real? Hear your name in the game! <gasps> For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, What do what we do want? really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer Road to the is perfect that they want button. to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button, which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, I want to try it. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button nah. says, says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. No! Nah. Yeah, let's have you roleplay as Jim to really simulate the My full name experience is Jim. of this feature. Just play along. I promise okay, you. Okay, my buffet. name is Jim. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. My name is Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Sleeping and waking as Jim, mm -hmm. falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Yeah. Do you feel it deeply? I do. Are you really, truly Jim right now? I am. Now? My name is if Jim. If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> oh, I said my name! Yes, you <laughs> see? What a thrill, what a rush. That was you! The that was my name! You. Do it again, do it again. That was my name. What's up, say hello to your dad. Hello. Jim. <gasps> it hits he even said harder my name. the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's even double, a it's a triple A game now. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much. Too Jim. much, Jim. Okay. I'm putting the Jim button away. No. Otherwise, soon you'll Jim. start to lose all Jim. sense of Jim. who you actually Jim. are. Jim. No! Jim. My button! <laughs> That's it. 
My gym button. Not my gym button. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. You're right. Please, no screenshots. A whole new office! Red is the new orange. What if I do screenshot here? What is a screenshot button even? Ooh, I'm like a spy. Email report? Email report? Email report? We're just taking pictures. That's interesting. The baby is all grown up! Oh my god. Please, no screenshots. I just took a bunch. Whoa, whoa, Jim. Alright, we got enjoy the new features next. On our tour. Epilogue! It would fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? It would! Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Epilogue! Oh my god, collectibles! Did he call me Jim? Free achievement? I want a free achievement. <gasps> jump circle! You know Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2. Yeah! As well. Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. No more jumps for my jump circle? Free achievement! Did I get it? Free achievement. Pull the lever, receive your due achievement, no more steps. It just works! Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Yeah. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yay! Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Does look like R2-D2. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, oh. the achievement is still fully broken. No, my step, free achievement. But I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's an never infinite hole? This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can okay. fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Okay. <laughs> you see? Isn't it wonderful? Yeah! I have more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Okay, what if I just want to keep falling? Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Why? You do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Why? Something gonna happen? Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. Oh. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. Ah. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... 
hey, well, good for you. You found the bottom <laughs> of the hole. I found, found the bottom. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Yeah. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. <laughs> what normal it is very deep. wants to fall infinitely. I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think yeah. we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly, mostly infinite. infinite? If that works for you, What's then up, Joshua? go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. Okay. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Yay! The mostly infinite hole. We love it. We love the mostly infinite hole. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration. I agree. I could... Email report. What is this? I don't even... Hold on. Loons. But I'm... Huh. Undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? Oh. Get well someday or happy 12th birthday, Stephanie's. I like the Stephanie's. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. No! Get well someday, it Not is. the get well someday. No. Or actually, the Stephanie's. No. No, I've made my decision. Now. Come, now. You've already made your choice. It's true that you chose badly, but we all have to move on from our mistakes. Wait, there was more back there, no? Reassurance bucket. I love that. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, mm. I'm happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. bucket. It's gone. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your oh. heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. Ooh. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. Okay. To be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes. The bucket is bucket. the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in yeah. fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Yeah. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Wow. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Can you find them? Collectibles. Collect them all. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real Ooh. video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's Whoa. truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Oh. Okay. Nice. What am I supposed to do? I can't walk towards it. I can't see. Wow. Oh, I am getting closer to it. Oh, I thought I wasn't. That's not fucking terrifying. It's absolutely surrounded. 
Wow. <gasps> oh, one of six. <laughs> God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely mm. tragic. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yeah. Ready to move on now? Yeah. I saw everything. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? I do. Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Yeah. So, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here it is. I give you the, the Stanley, Stanley Parable, Parable 2. Two. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort yeah. of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Um. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Okay. Here we go. Version 2. 2.2. Two. Um. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. Yeah. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't yeah. add up to anything. Mm -hmm. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Yeah. Wait. Maybe that's, that's it. it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully. Tastefully. Course, with respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Yeah. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, Yeah. This is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. Ultra <laughs> Deluxe Stanley oh, Parable. Perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. It looks kind of like a scary game. <laughs> it looks like a horror game that we've played before. This is the story of a man named Stanley. With the skip button! Stanley worked for a company in a big building. Oh, and all the where balloons! He was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. All right, I'm going to just skip. Wow, the balloons are here. All of his co-workers were gone. What yeah, well, someday. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <gasps> in the bucket. Stanley picked up the bucket. <laughs> oh. Give us some guided ropes. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I'm so gonna choose. I will this never take that left door. To the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling bucket. him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, yes. Perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, the bucket calls no, to me. said the bucket. No. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. The bucket says, jump off Good, the cargo lift. The bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. 
There's something up there I need you to do. No, oh, Bucket. Stanley did not question why or how this Bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because Buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not I to love my bucket. this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the Bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the Bucket asked. I just hear the toilet flush in there. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no, no buckets, buckets past this point. Oh. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? I didn't Unless, know. What if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game You're right. if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Yeah, you're right. Please step in here for a moment. I don't want to. Now then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Okay. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay. Okay, let's begin. Welcome to what is a bucket? Me, is this a bucket? Yes. Woo! Incorrect. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Oh. Item two, is this a bucket? Yes. Incorrect. It is a 3D printed recreation of no! a bucket, not an actual bucket. Item three, is this a bucket? Yes. Ah! Hey, this is a bucket. It's a bucket. <laughs> Item four. Is this a bucket? Mm. Mm, yes. Um. Well. Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. <laughs> it's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. It's a hard choice, you know? Is this a bucket? Hmm. Sure does look like one. Ah! This is a bucket. It's a bucket. See, guys? I told you, it was a close call last time. Hard to tell. Item six. Is this a bucket? No. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Damn it. Fucker. Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Yes. Thank you. There's nothing here. Of course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Wait, when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, which of course is not true. Right. Unless, is that what you think? Answer everything. me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? Yes. It's a bucket. Everything's a bucket. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. <laughs> I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. You need to hold the, any of us the bucket that helps you with your thoughts. Am I a bucket? Again, Pat, am I a bucket? Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I think, yes. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. No! I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. No! My okay. bucket! Here we go. No! My bucket! No! <laughs> no, my bucket! What happened? 
Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, was everything a bucket? Everything was Every a bucket, just like I told bucket. you! Oh my god, I had no idea. How could... except me? I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. I'm you're not a bucket, not a bucket but everything's a bucket. Oh, wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? Okay. And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if yes. you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who okay. knows what that information might do to a person? All You're right. right. Here we go. My life is a bucket. <laughs> I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. <gasps> Collectible! One of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Wow! Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. Yay! You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. I found so, it! I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. They are cute. Figurine finders committee meeting today in the meeting room. I'm a figurine finder. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Figurine finders committee meeting. That must be for me. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. I love my bucket. All right, let's try to go to, to the left. I think we've exercised Stanley everything to the, the right. Tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Figurine finders. How can we find them? Bottom text. There will be a reward for finding them all. Lies, who are you? There will be cleaning of this wall required. I want them so much. I want to go home. Stop kidding yourselves. Oh, it like tells you. A large room, lots of boxes, stairs. Something to do with stairs. Nearby a fireplace. A private but smelly place for an important person. Okay, so we need to go to the boss's office for one of them. Trust the completionist instinct. Is there one in here? Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of Genesis. No! It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. No. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's no. supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion. My and companion lifelong and lifelong friend. Don't hand it over. Oh, no. No. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? No! Stanley. I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? <gasps> that your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? No! That your life is so banal and meaningless no! that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Ooh. Another miniature Stanley figurine. Yay! Yeah, so, you know, All right, we got the boss's really office and somewhere with name for these boxes. What about mini stands. Mini Stanley stands. Things. Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, Stanlerines. I I like that. Another Stanlerine. <gasps> Stanlerines. I like that too. What's this? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. Mm -hmm. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because right. he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe 
he thought to himself. Maybe, Maybe I, I am crazy. crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. Am the I bucket crazy, Bucket? Head, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. Yeah. He held the bucket close. I it love felt the bucket. none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. No! And that's when Stanley realized this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. No! Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? No! This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, they which are. was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. <gasps> oh, gracious. He exclaimed, Oh Without no, my bucket! My bucket. Where is no. it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's, it's me, me, the bucket. bucket. Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them were his. None of them were his special no. bucket. No, Come my, bucket. my bucket! My bucket! Where are bucket. you? He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. I am a bucket. It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. No! No! My bucket! I miss this is the bucket. story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up what? her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. Oh no! But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a oh, man who had no. stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all no! have been prevented if only he'd my taken My bucket! Oh shit, I almost yeeted my mic. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. My bucket! How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. I love my of bucket. Course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself. My life kicks ass. <laughs> and she backflipped all the way to work. <laughs> and she backflipped all the way to work. Office. I fucking died. Executive bathroom? <gasps> okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. And no. now I'm torn between Stan Lorenes and Figgy. I like Stan Lorenes. What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. I've got a feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. So that's a lovely purse. What? I thought we only had one more. I guess we have two more. Fine. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Gotta have the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce we the, love the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. We love the bucket. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. I love my At bucket. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Sheer luck! Was it the bucket knew all along. 
Was the, the bucket, bucket is guiding me. Yes. This is certainly the I most love my bucket. Explanation. Of my bucket. My bucket. Did I name the bucket? No, name the bucket. No, name the bucket. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, I love the reassuring bucket. that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Who's it say? No box? Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. No! No bucket. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No bucket. At this point, no. Stanley and the bucket were knowingly we're walking forward into I'll a I'll name it Jim. I'll name my bucket Jim. Now, Jim. Now. Ah! <laughs> ah! I can't see. Where are we going? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket, bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. No. I'm sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed no. to death? Bucket. This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time no. carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. No. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently to death. Bucket. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. Oh, my bucket sacrificed himself for me. The bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. You are standing at the precipitation. Piece of knowledge much like a bucket itself the human mind is frequently empty within a car cavernous void but through the use of the exhibit in front of you the mind becomes full and enriched and substantiated knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have will you take what you learn here out with you into the world will you accept with an open mind that may be challenging about the information in this exhibit. Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were in ignorance and darkness? <laughs> Can you see how arrogant it was for oh. Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? Oh, I do. 25 buckets, a pho photograph of 25 buckets, the greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. That is definitely more than 25. The photographer experienced cata catatonic shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from exposure to this many buckets at once. Oh, 
beautiful. Taking it in. Taking it in. A bucket with two handles. Wow. Incredible. Incredible piece here. This bucket is depicted as having two handles. Such a design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to death just for attempting it. Oh. Brilliant piece. What's this? Inferno bucket. A replica of the Inferno bucket, which in the medieval era was so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died, and yet, in spite of it all, the simple fact remains, no one can control a bucket. I think there's one over here. The stress bucket and analogy. It, it takes all the worry and negative forecasting, negative thinking, and lack of reassurance in. And then, and then the level of water in the bucket is stress. And then it releases relax, rest and relaxation and doing something you enjoy. Rest and relaxation. Coping strategy equals holes. Vulnerability equals the size and strength of the bucket. Incredible. Cave drawing. While we know that buckets predate the existence of mankind, we do not know by how long. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket by which the, the time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. Great pieces. Oh, my eyes at you. Yeah, buckets predate the existence of humanity. No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Right. The hanging bucket. This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However, clear our grasp of the bucket may be. There is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance, inavailability, in is for our own good. I jump in that infinite hole. Oh. <gasps> but there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. No! Let him be crushed by the machine. No! Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. No! Take his place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. No! <laughs> I want to go on this. Come on, bucket, let's go. I love bucket. I love oh, Bucket. good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. We care about you, Stanley? What the fuck? You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. Oh. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're but the I ones love that my matter, bucket. Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before but i love my yes, bucket I know i'm the one who gave you the bucket but you're spending too much time with it don't you want another story involving the adventure line we could make the adventure line go somewhere new yes yes that's what the fans want let's do it all of my friends from the first game 
Look at that wacky line. Wow. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. I'm still looking for my collectible. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is oh all my about. God, my eye. Don't you remember all those great Why jokes so from itchy? the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's as classic now as it was back then. Yeah. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Not my bucket. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Ah! I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? I guess. Not Can you my guess bucket. What the bucket destroyer does. Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Not my bucket. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you breaking? were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The, the Bucket? Project, certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until oh, you crush no! that damn bucket. Quickly now. The fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they oh, want. Oh, my God, my God, my bucket! <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck? The bucket destroyer. My proud. Oh my creation. god, get over you it. So much potential. I love we the bucket. We were going bucket. to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you, all of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. E Ah, here we go. We're getting close now, Stanley. I got you one more. What was the other ones. one that it Very said? Very soon, you'll collect the last one, and then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. Yep. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them, and now we have, we have them, them all. all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Lorenes. None of us can. Stanley and the Bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read. Mind control facility. All right, well, we didn't go here last time, so. The lights rose on an Whoa. enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Ooh. Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. Yeah, there is a lot of new stuff. Monitors jumped to life, and Stanley Woo! nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. Ooh, that one's broken. The had never seen anything like this, and it that one's probably mine. burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring I him love you, that bucket. everything would be fine. Yeah, 476 is over there, and that's where the broken one looked like it was. Yeah, yeah, mine's the broken one. I wonder why. 
Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? No bucket. Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? No bucket. What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Oh, bucket, I love you so much. No! He screamed. No, bucket. bucket! He couldn't accept it. His <coughs> own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. I love my At bucket. Point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. I love it. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. You're for right. he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the Bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the Bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Yes! When at last they came to the... Can I do it? Stanley and the Bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Yay! Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Yay! Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Aww. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. Oh. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and... Oh. Um... What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Um... Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. No! Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket. No! Needed the soothing no! My of bucket! The not to part with the bucket. No! No, no, no! Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket no. in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. I'll but at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally bucket. in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me. As long me, as right? I have I'll my okay, bucket! Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Back to the meeting room. Alright, we no, gotta jump down there. The bucket. No, don't go, don't go, to, the go to the meeting room. room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. How are we supposed to... Ooh. And there it is. The last... Stiggly, Stiggly wiggly. wiggly. Save this moment, Stanley. This... Is a real I got them all! This is doing something just for the sake of doing yeah, it. Yeah, completionist! Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, You're right. instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. We're done! And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Yay! Can I jump down from here? Ah, there's a vent. Vent. Sus. Is it a vent? Where are we going now, Bucket? 
Where are we, Bucket? Whoa, there's a bunch of tapes. That's where the narrator lives. Lost cat, there is a ward reward G. Okay. This is day number two hundred and ninety-five. Tape number I don't even know. Hmm? I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything. The fucking makes. bucket, dude. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. It's always the bucket. No matter how many times I've done it. It's always the same feeling. And the Not the bucket lore. Not the bucket down. lore. It doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so. What do I do with this treasure? I can. I can monetize it. Yes. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This. Is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get. What's that? Oh that? no. What the fuck is going on? Oh, the narrator is not talking. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines, those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? It did. Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Just one more time. Revisit the figurines? Okay. Now I'm remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, not the memory zone. <sighs> Here's where it all began. The first collection. The first one. And then we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it's, it's a, a new content, right Franken. But how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. And here was a second Stan Loreen. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around by the red and oh, blue Oh, I can doors. get more! You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. Uh -oh. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? My third or just like in general? I'm going to say this way. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here under the stairs. It was the third one. You what picked the it up fuck? and then after that, you had three of them. I did. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. 
After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. For real? It's impossible to forget your third time doing anything? Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. No, oh, we well, didn't. I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. Mm, no, it didn't. Um, it definitely didn't happen here. Um, that's really weird. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was behind the boss's office. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. <laughs> no, no, no! Not the fucking, oh God, not the fucking eye movie. Oh no. What's that over there? Not the fucking iMovie! No! No, what the fuck is this? Ew! Oh my god, literally the fucking iMovie thing, dude. Thanks for watching! Oh god. Oh my fucking god, no. <sighs> Takes you back, doesn't it? Oh, it I does. I spent a lot of time making that video. I it bet was you did. I wouldn't have spent on anything else. I fucking love this game, dude. Trippy. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the mm -hmm. final figurine, right here in the warehouse. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Mm. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which right. it was exactly like. I forgot to grab one of them. Ooh, Trippy, you are in the present. And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Yeah. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Oh, okay. Uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just no! go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See okay. how that feels. Okay. What is up with him obsessed okay, with these yes. figurines? This spot in the warehouse. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's mm. keep going. I want more. The end is never the end. And here's where I made that video. Don't mm -hmm. you remember the video we watched? Let's not watch it again. No. <laughs> okay. Yes, I love that video. Yep. This one's still freaky. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room though, a solid room. It's all right. Okay, room. Kind of creepy and weird, but, you know. Whatever. This dude, stop the loading screen. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, yeah. if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm yeah. very glad we resisted the temptation. Me too. Thanks, Me too.
Oh, he's taking me to the apple instead of this the boss's bathroom. Day. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. Yeah. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. This is it. The very first one we found. The first one in was the, the coolest. Where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. We got to go. Else is there? What no, came we got to wrap it up. Collect them all. Oh no, not back here. Not back here. Not back here. Do I Look, get more it's jump? A terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. But time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Right. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. Oh my god. Oh yes, the two doors. Of course. Who could have forgotten that a classic memory this one. It wouldn't matter what okay. In my and office. Everything else. There was your office. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? No. There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Something before the office? Yes. I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was I was different. Yeah. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy. And I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. Like the bucket. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. Mm. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Yeah, you don't. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one, one more, more good, good memory? memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office, and then I'll retire him for good. Okay. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay. Okay. Here we go. This okay. is the story of a man named Stanley. Okay. 